A lot of you came in for hours of a drive. Some of you have flown from Florida, which is, where's Marsha? Marsha, is she in here? Marsha, Marsha, and Gregory. Okay, they're, out, they're outdoors. So bring them in. Uh, but we really appreciate all the um, love that the family and the friends bring. Um, I can't thank you enough to just being here tonight. So um, it was kind of funny. I'm going to tell a little story. When <laughs> um, I think it was Gary's family, my family, we were sitting there at um, New Year's Day, and my mother says, "Whatever you do, do not have a party for me on my 50th." And I was like, well, we weren't really thinking about it, but okay, maybe we should. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> and so um, it was kind of cute, and we thought, okay, we're not going to surprise them. You said mom. I did. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Keith. That would be Keith. <laughs> okay, so um, so I says, okay, she, so she, we sent her an invitation, because we're not going to surprise her, but the invite comes out, and she gets it, and she calls me, and she says, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I just landed in Pittsburgh. I'm walking through the airport. What are you doing? I knew what she was doing. She says, looking at my mail. I said, oh, how was that? Well, I told you not to do this, and I was going to cook turkey dinner for all of you, for just the kids. I said, no party. And I said, well, you know, we wanted to do something for you, Mom. And so um, her turkey dinner's not that great. <laughs> I'm really joking. She knows I love it. So, 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 so here, um, it was really cute, and I was very proud of that conversation because as she kept talking, and she was talking very plain, and then my dad jumps on and says, "Your mom's cried ten times before she picked up the phone to talk to you." And I said, "Oh, have you really?" Yes, because you shouldn't be doing this for us, and and I can't believe it. It's a big year, and we have a wedding, and we have graduations, and we got so much going on in our lives. So then she says, "But did you invite this one? And did you invite that one?" And we I said, "Mom, they're all invited." So um, I was very, really proud that actually they were so excited about tonight, and it, it made Gary and Chad and I. Um, I'm proud to be a part of, of this evening. So um, that was a funny story. I do want to introduce you to some of the people that um, you may not know, uh, or well, maybe my kids you don't know, or the grandkids. So first off, we have Gary, Pauline, Miranda, Cameron. Could you step up? Cameron. You wouldn't know Cameron because he's like the, the growing, he's getting to be a real man. And Gary's. Probably at the bar. Oh, we'll get him in here. <laughs> or maybe Gary won't try. Okay. Um, and then we have Chad, Dana, and the little guys that you may not know are Clayton and our Cam or uh, sorry, Carson. Carson boy, come on up here. Dana and Chad. No, stay up here. Stay up here. Family stays up here. That's right. We're going to win a trip or something. Hi, baby. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> That's our little show dog. What's really cool is that all these grandkids um, that they're going to have, they're like several, a couple years apart, all the way down to the itty bitty, so, which is really fun. And then we have Keith. Could you come up? He's my best half. And, um, Kasha, unfortunately, our oldest daughter, was not able to make it tonight. She's in Disney, lucky her, but uh, it, with her dance drill team, and they are marching. So she was not able to make it. And Connie, would you come up too? <laughs> Connie is prepared. She's got tissues in hand. <laughs> I'm actually happy. I haven't even cried yet. So we're, I think we're good, Connie. Uh, um, <laughs> we got it going. Uh, let's see. Where's Gary? There he is. He always sneaks in behind. He's. Anytime uh, you want to things. Anytime you want to jump in. I'm just looking to see what the line is. <laughs> And I'm doing good with these glasses, I can't see. So, I'm going to start off with just a couple words for our parents that um, 
Okay, and this is where I don't want to cry. And you're not going to cry either. Hold on. Number one. There you go. Exhibit number one, baby <laughs> sis. Um, uh, tonight is a special night, and it's kind of interesting. I, I wrote a few thoughts that I had, and I'm not going to go on and on, but. Of course, as I'm writing them, I'm crying, and where am I? I'm on planes, I'm at hotel bars, I'm at places that I'm with strangers for the past week. And they're looking at me thinking, who died? And I'm like, nobody died. It's a really joyous occasion, and I'm really excited about tonight, but I'm so, I, I, I just kept crying the whole entire time when I wrote these words. Um, and I take after my mother with the red puffy nose and the puffy eyes and the the whole quivering chin, and it's it's really terrible, but everybody kind of understood, so um, it was all good. A lot of memories in the past 50 years. Do you want to read this? No, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably some of the fondest memories, but some of the things that I remember most, Gary being lost and I in uh, Bush Garden, and some of the pictures up there, but Gary was um, always wandering off and we hid from him so he couldn't find us on purpose. And then when the stranger saw us as he was crying on the curb, saying, is that your family? Yeah, that's our family, that's my family. And then we felt like jerks. Okay. But anyhow, fishing in Kinzu, which you, some of these pictures that you see are from then. Um, sled riding, swimming um, in, our, in our pool. Our pool was always... Uh, uh, a good place to be. The Canada trips, the beach vacations, Disney, and the famous, why don't you wait and we will get a hamburger. We have talked about, that was my dad's famous quote, and that doesn't mean anything to y'all, but it does mean something probably to Gary and I, Chad may not remember. Do you remember that? Was he there? He was. <laughs> and you may notice a lot of sleeping pictures of my father, which um, are kind of fun. I don't know why Donna so always wanted to... Just... Why, did <laughs> why did Donna always want to take pictures of him sleeping? I don't know. But Dad, you're an amazing individual and thank you for all you've done for all of us. Um, when you retired, we were all really happy because your first job was my basement. Yay! Um, you did a lot for us in all the construction and all the help that you've given all three of us, I think, throughout the years, and in con says soon to be four. Um, and we're, we were very happy to be able to have you a part of building onto our homes and making our homes what they are today. So thank you for doing that. And we really were great because, quite frankly, we um, worked around your fishing schedule, so that was big on our part. <laughs> Dad always gave us the schedule before any project was, was due. Mom, you've always been there for us, um, whether you babysat, you were a backup, you were a strong support to me personally, um, my best friend. Uh, you always were very positive, you look at others um, in a great way. Um, you welcomed your in-laws the best that you ever could have, anybody ever, ever could have which was really great because all of us were welcomed. And not just Keith or Pauline or Dana, but yet our families. And we thank you for that because um, it made... <laughs> no, you didn't welcome them. <laughs> <laughs> Mother made a point. <laughs> but certainly she, she made sure everybody was included. But that was really special because Keith and I didn't live here. And it was nice that when we did come home, when we first got married, to have family involved and to create memories together versus this family, that family, we weren't a divide. So thank you for, for doing that. I can't believe I'm not crying yet. This is awesome. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I said it was going to be two minutes, but then I add them. Um, so thanks for all of you've done. We really appreciate it. And um, we look forward to many, many more years together with you in celebrating. So um, I'm going to let Gary say a few words. I'm always good standing in the background jacking her off. <laughs> and then I'm not behind me. <laughs> oh, do you want me to go? Thank you. Nah, it's, it's kind of hard. I'm a 
little nervous, a lot more people than I thought. <laughs> so, as they always tell you, visualize people naked. <laughs> I'll give you 10 minutes to put that. <laughs> Bill, don't get up and walk around. <laughs> I had a picture in my mind. So, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. <laughs> Mom, Dad, it's not about congratulations, it's about thank you. For all the wonderful years and helping me with spelling and schooling and getting through the second grade. There's a joke about that. It's long and hard. No, we're not going to joke that. But anyhow, I thank you guys. You are my inspiration for everything I do, and I can only hope to be as good and a person that both of you are. I thank you for adopting Kim and Chad. <laughs> so I was not the only perfect child. <laughs> All right, we know they weren't adopted. <laughs> we got the three D's. Kim with a D, which was silent. <laughs> Dipshit. <laughs> Not silent. And dumbass. I didn't realize that I had another name until one day Pauline and I were going on vacation. Needed my passport. So I got my birth certificate and I found out my name was Gary. Wasn't really dumbass. So I proved to them I could read, and I did get through the second grade. <laughs> so I thank you for helping me get through the second grade. Third grade, I can. So it's all about the thanks, not the congratulations. Very, very hard to make it 50 years and accomplish what you guys did. And actually, I think I've been there for most of them. <laughs> Kim? <Minus>. Flower Girl? <laughs> I think we all appreciate everything. <laughs> Sorry, someone had to say The best thing that ever happened. Bam! All right, I'm going to stop there. Guys, I love you. Thank you very much for everything. to follow. <laughs> no. It was good when we got these two out of the house, by the way. <laughs> Life was good. Forty years. That's me. <laughs> With my parents. <laughs> the best forty years of their life, probably. I'm just assuming that. <laughs> uh, the love, the care, the support. It's been amazing. It truly has. Uh, the memories, we look at all the pictures of the vacations and the trips that we've gone on, the opportunities that they gave us. Uh, well, at least me, anyhow. <laughs> you did make it to the third grade. Yeah. <laughs> but the support, I can, you know, Gary talks about 
having trouble with spelling. And I can remember sitting down at the dinner table and uh, actually not eating dinner, but doing my studies with mom, frustrated. And uh, I'm sure she was just as frustrated as, as I was, but uh, she never showed me any of that frustration. She, <laughs> from you. <laughs> so, uh, Mom, thank you for all that time you spent with me. And, uh, I do appreciate that. Uh, Gary doesn't appreciate the <laughs> lack of help. <laughs> I, think, I told you, things got better once you left. <laughs> Should have stuck around a little longer. <laughs> That was my job to take care of you. Sorry about your bad luck. <laughs> uh, my parents, they're all of our biggest fans. They really are. Uh, they don't miss athletic events. Not very often. I can remember one time when I was six years old. Youth football game. I don't know where you guys went, but I had to spend the night at the coach's house and we drove into the game. Yeah, we played at Plum. I was six years old, but I still remember that. I documented that. I can't tell you if we won or lost. But uh, they were, they've always been there. I remember my senior year of basketball. Uh, my dad was working night turn. And uh, I didn't expect to see him in the stands that evening. It was the first game of the year. And uh, boy, to see him walk into the gymnasium before the game started, that meant the world too. That was, it meant a lot. I went out that night, I scored 35 points. And I don't think I ever told you, but it was because you were in the stands. That meant a lot to me. Baseball. You both missed that game my senior year. <laughs> <laughs> playing in North Park, playing Vincentian, 11 o'clock in the morning. Who would ever figured I had my best game ever? <laughs> Four triples and a single. Five for five. My biggest fans weren't there. If I had to go back in time, you guys would be sitting there watching. <laughs> Damn to speak once. <laughs> uh, all of my college games, they were there. In Connecticut, New Haven, Connecticut, they were there. Michigan, they were there. They've always been there. Always. There were college games where I redshirted. I wasn't even on the traveling squad. They were there. <laughs> I got home, I called them. How'd the game go? <laughs> Athletic supporters, they love athletics. <laughs> and they don't miss any of their grandchildren's games either. They don't. If it's Kim's hockey games, or Clayton's t-ball games, or Miranda cheerleading, or when Connie played soccer and Kasha played soccer, they're there. They are dedicated. They will change their schedules to get there. I've never seen fans or people who support their own like you guys do. Are right, you ready? No. That's not good. Not good. <laughs> Needless to say, playing three sports growing up, mom always provided me with clean clothing, a safe ride to the facilities, except for in kindergarten. So, we, we had a, well, still, I told you things were good. You had a chauffeur, would you change things? Oh, I drove that once. Mom couldn't make that baseball game in Highlands. I'm not going to tell you what happened that car. <laughs> now I can't tell you the stats of that game either. Mine was on the car. Because I knew Gary couldn't drive it. It was still in Texas. 
<laughs> so I was safe. <laughs> Thank you for all the support. That's my thing. Support, support, support. They support the family. They're here for their grandchildren. They were here for us. And uh, I look at you two over there, and I like to model my marriage with my wife from what you guys have actually molded in me. Thank you.